Hey guys, it's Blinkshot. What's up? It's been a while since I've really recorded. I mean, you guys have been watching some videos, but I haven't really recorded anything from there. Um, if anyone's been noticing about the current server situation, it's in uh, vanilla. And the reason we're doing that is because we're building up the, um, the new spawn and everything and the new server type and everything like that. What actually happened, the reason the the map got wiped is um, our hoster's computer the hard drive fried on it so we lost all of our maps and all of our progress and everything like that so we had to rebuild which we were planning on doing anyway so we're gonna take you through a little bit of a tour of the new server and show you guys some of the new features I don't think we wanna show them too much yeah not not all just a bit just show a bit of information so show you guys a little hint of what's what's coming in the next version but uh, you guys can obviously see that this is actually going to be the spawn. It's probably the biggest spawn that we've ever had. It looks beautiful, made by Bray. Yeah, that's pretty good. Looks like a Disney castle. Oh yeah, it totally does. Like if we had the fireworks right there, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon, the fireworks. Just like take a picture right while while the fireworks went off. That'd be an awesome like intro or whatever. Yeah. All right. What do you want? To, what do you, What do you want to do? Just show them I the think spawn. First, I guess. Yeah. First thing, we could just show them uh, something inside the spawn. Or warp spawn. Or yeah. Yeah. Just um, spawn is no longer a command. Um, uh. You you warp the spawn now. Cause uh, well, the reason for this is because if you guys don't know, because I talked to this, uh, I talked to, about this to some people on the server server before it got wiped. Um, the way spawns work now is that it's graveyard, so if you die, you go to the nearest graveyard. So for that to work, we had to get rid of slash spawn, but you can still warp to it. And you can still warp to it if you need to, come see all the rules and everything. I want to change, we gotta change the color of the, uh, the wiki link, because I can't even see it. Yeah. You gotta go can right change up that. to it, we'll change it later. Yeah, we can change that later. If you guys haven't noticed yet, everything's still we're still tweaking things. We're not completely done because there's a lot to do. Because we're about 75% of what's happened what was on the PvP server before is kind of like gone, and we're changing a bunch of stuff. But there's still that old Blinkcraft feel to it, I guess. Just new and improved. What what information do we want to give to them? Cause I don't um, know. Just some information do. that doesn't really, I guess, doesn't really give them advantage. Like, just some stuff like graveyards. Uh, here are the graveyards. Um, if you donated to one of the graveyards before, when we had that going, I think it was version. I think I was seven, seven. when we had it, right? I think so. Yeah. If you yeah. Don't, oh, I know. Yeah, it was six. Six. Never mind. Um, if you donate to one of those, you have uh, your na your name gets put on the graveyards in spawn. And there's there's two graveyards in spawn, so if you donate um donate ten dollars you can get you can get the item. There's chests under them too, like we had before, and you can get your names yeah. on top of it. So I, I came up I came up with this idea originally in version seven. Just thought I because I thought it'd be pretty cool just to have it. And it was sort of just a quick thing that I came up with and it actually became a little bit popular with some of the people. But um the the old people who actually donated for Tombstones um, were a little bit agitated that they were gone in the next version. They weren't actually gone. What happened is we actually rushed the map and we forgot to make the graveyard, which was supposed to be outside of spawn, and we ended up never getting to it. So sorry for that, but they're back. So you guys can be about happy about that. So your name's going to be permanently on the tombstones and whatnot. Um, we had three different tiers of tombstones in the last version, or in version 7. We're only going to have one this time, and they're just $10. And um, for anyone new, if you unlock a tombstone, there's a chest with random items in it. I'm not going to show you what's in there because it's actually filled. And But the old people, we haven't thought about whether we should give you anything or not. The name stays permanently, but we don't know about the items. And um, just if you're an old Blinkcraft member, you, you you probably noticed that usually our maps are around two to three months. What we're doing this time is we're trying to keep it for around five or six months. Um, so we're trying to add as much stuff that you can do within those that timeline. 
we're putting we a lot of time people. yeah we're putting a lot of time into this map um, and we're definitely not rushing it we've been taking our time with it which a lot of you might have been mad we pretty much have like no audience or no people coming onto the vanilla server but I'm sure that's just because it's blown up and destroyed yeah. and not it might, fun, it might be but... a bit frustrating with nothing to do on the server, but um, but the more time we put into it, the, be the better quality we can give you guys. Do you want to show we... them the arena? Uh, the one I was making, or the one we have already? The one that we have. Uh, sure. Or both. I don't know. I um, we'll show. We'll start. Uh... <sighs> Well, I guess we'll show them this part. This is a glimpse at what's gonna be one of the one of the mob arenas. I just started today, so this is a glimpse at what it can it's starting out as. It's looking uh, good. Yeah, it's, it's looking good. It's gonna have a courtyard, which gives you a bit more space of space to fight. Is this the and, event world? Yeah, this is the event world. We moved which, everything over then. Yeah. The game hub is there. This is something I built. We're not sure if we're going to be using it. It's there just in case. This? Oh, no, the no, game hub. The, the game hub is there just in case if we, if we find a use for it. But it's not really important right now. Yeah. We we had, we, we thought about it, but um, it sort of got shut There's, down. Yeah, there isn't really, we don't know how to efficiently put something in there, so we're just going to leave it for a while. This, uh, we have a, we're bringing back the kind of professional looking parkours instead of our where to the sky parkour we have a bit more professional looking one we're gonna make a couple more of these but we only have one right now this was made by Mima yeah it's not it's not completely finished but it's looking pretty good so far and then over here just ignore the village on the way um, over here is our the currently active mob arena which uh, anybody can use right now. What's this building uh, in the back? Oh, that's just um, for, that's just, I'm just putting it there for now as the where you go pick your classes and everything. Oh, it's just okay. temporary because I had to do some testing. But yeah, this is the current mob arena that's available. It's called Cathedral, and uh, I don't know if Blink wants to give a peek inside or just leave that as a secret. I guess it's uh, up to him. I think it could be more more fun if it was a secret. I'll just leave it as that. It's there's not much in it. It's not um, that special on the inside, but it, it's, uh, it's. I definitely like to leave it. I so definitely. It. We were actually working on this map before the crash on the hard drive actually happened, and we had a mob arena made then. I much prefer that one. That one was awesome. I don't know if we'll be able to recreate that in the future or not. Yeah, that one's a possibility because we're trying to have as many mobarinas as we as we can. Cause we're trying Blink, to put variety. Yeah, because Blink really wants to have um, a good amount of events, so we're trying to keep uh, a good amount of events going for people to get bored. Automatic events, so yeah, that you guys don't events. need admins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, one big thing that I just faced at the moment, but do um, what are they called? The donor goals. Do we want um, to talk about that? Yeah, I guess we can talk about that because, um, oh, and one more thing, um, the website's down for maintenance, as you guys you probably yeah. seen in the message. Um, another exciting thing is, um, since we're adding a bunch of changes, we have a wiki uh, where you can find all the information you want. It's still under progress, but uh, you can find all the information you want there. But I guess we'll talk about the um, donor goals right now since it might not be that clear on the wiki. What the donor um, goals are is um. Do you well, want to talk actually, about I'll, I'll, let, me? I'll let Blink talk about. We can take turns. <laughs> All right. So um. The donor goals actually I originally thought up when I came up with the tombstone idea, um, and it first came to my mind is that I wanted to have multiple spawns, but I didn't want those spawns to become active until we reach a certain donor goal. It never went into effect, and I never really actually told anyone about it. It was just in the back of my mind, and I just oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, this map, we are varying that. We're not doing like multiple spawns or something like that. But what we're doing is that we're going to set a certain goal for an amount of money that we have to make within a certain amount of time. 
most likely to keep the server up or to make a little bit more than we're making now to improve the server. Maybe get a better hoster or make it non-laggy, stuff like that. It's I'm pretty sure it's non-laggy right now. Yeah, it's not, but, it's not yeah. that laggy. It's, for our test service, is pretty handling the stuff we're doing oh, pretty yeah, well. No. It's definitely doing really well because we're, we got some high hosters. But, um... So there would be a set goal, let's say like a hundred dollars or a hundred and fifty dollars or something like that, and it's not like one single person pays that amount. It, that yeah, that amount like, um, after a certain amount of time, like let's say this person donated fifty, this person in, donated twenty, that'd be seventy dollars to towards the main goal. And once the main goal is achieved, then we would release more content to you guys, like a new mob arena, a new parkour. A new, maybe a new class, class maybe. for the mob arena, something like that, and um, we think that would be really cool. So we added that in this map. And oh, and one more uh, one th like since we're talking about donations here, one thing that is um, I, f I feel that was mandatory to change um, before you could make custom custom donations and you get custom packages, but that that no longer works. The way it works is if you donate. The highest rank we ha currently have, oh, the ranks change, change. The names change for the ranks, by the way. The highest rank we currently have is a hundred dollars. If you don't, if you donate over a hundred dollars, you're not getting any extra perks over what a hundred gets, unless you donate a significant amount over a hundred, like Ig like Igrezi did. I'm not gonna say how much he donated, but like if you donate a significant amount over a hundred, then yeah, you're gonna get some sort of uh, extra perks. But if you donate, like say 150, you're not gonna get you're only gonna get what's what a hundred dollars get, and this is just to balance out things between donors. You're not gonna get any more in-game items. You maybe you'll get access to, or maybe you'll be able to help us on the next map or pitch us yeah. ideas. There'll be some sort of there'll be some sort of beneficial it. gain, but it won't be anything in-game that'll change your. Yeah, they'll help you in the PvP. Yeah, your status as yeah. in the game. And, and just uh, uh, just a little teaser kind of here. Um, donor perks have changed drastically, I guess we could say. But uh, just a little teaser. Donors get specific classes in Mob Arena. I'm not going to say what those classes are. We might put a screenshot or something. But um, yeah, you guys will have to You'll find out once, uh, once this is released. You guys will you'll find out what those classes are. Also, um... We changed the economy and how the server works. We used to run off of economy money, which was the general, I think it was essentials, right? Oh yeah, we're still going off of essentials economy. I mean, we're still different. going off of it, but we're not using yeah, it's the not virtual the, dollar. Yeah, we're not using the virtual dollar anymore. Uh, it works differently. It's, um, well, I wouldn't say harder, but I guess somewhat or it takes more effort to get money rather than just getting getting random items like getting dirt and selling it which is too easy um, what you have to do now um, we're not going to go into too much detail but what you have to do now is actually have to you have to get get your gold ingots and gold nuggets in order to have money and those are what's used as money each each nugget is worth 10 cents or equals 10 cents and each ingot is, is equals to, to a dollar and we're just trying to we're trying. We're just doing that to make it a bit more, uh, a bit harder to get money and uh, make, I guess, make money less worth less. Because before we had it so that you had, say, like ten thousand ICM, you could basically buy everything in the shop, at least one of everything in the shop. Um, something that's undecided yet is um, that at the moment we don't have a shop for the server, and it was discussed that we would have independent trading, but we'd have a plugin that would aid people in in selling things. But um, it turns out that that plugin is incompatible or it's not working in general. So we still haven't come to the decision of whether or not we're going to have a shop. Uh, the reason we really wanted to get rid of the shop is because it could be easily manipulated. There were ways to find, there were ways that you could, you know, get money and, really easily and manipulate and the market. And almost every map, like not to, not to name names, we had people like uh, Big Daddy Mascot that would always find a glitch or some, some sort in the shop to get uh, to get some more, some good money. So we just did, we eliminated it just so people can't get an advantage because they know glitches and, we, and other people don't. Oh, you know what I want to show them? I want to show them the new trading. 
Oh yeah, the trading's pretty interesting. Remember, it doesn't work with the uh, creative. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're gonna. If you, if you go to spawn, you're gonna like. We'll just any safe area. Or you'll have a safe way of trading now. And we'll show you how that is. Just sh you shift down, and you uh, right click on somebody, and then they right click back, but they have to be crouching as well. And then it'll open up a, a window. The left side is the items that you're trading, the right side is the items that the other person's trading. And once you have all your items, you press the green wool, and it does the trade. Um, and this effectively gets rid of player um, hijacking. We had a problem with people just taking diamond swords and stuff like that, so if yeah. you lose it, it's your fault. <laughs> don't come crying yeah. to us. We can, we've eliminated as much as we can. If you lose it, it's not. We don't, we're not refunding anything. And one more thing. Um, we know, we know that with Minecraft there's always a bug or a glitch or something like that, but if you do end up losing your items to a glitch, we most likely won't end up refunding it, because that causes a bit, that causes uh, If we problems. can confirm that it's a glitch, don't take advantage yeah. of this, people. Yeah. Um, also, I want to add in that um, we've had MCMMO for maybe seven six or seven versions and it's always seven. been it's always been one of those distractions that people like to do but um we actually decided to take it out um just because if we had mcmmo it causes a lot of problems for us not only plugin wise but in game there's actually glitches to duplicate diamonds we never said this publicly and some of the admins don't know but you can actually duplicate diamonds using the MCMMO because it does give you a percentage of getting duplicate diamonds like double diamonds for mining like you know a diamond ore or something like that so if you used a I forget what it is a silk pick or an efficiency yeah, pick or something like that you could just keep placing it down and waiting until you get double and so we're getting rid of it totally yeah. and just um, speaking speaking of admins uh, admins can, for the most part, they can no, can no longer really ab abuse powers because before admins used to be able to use every single command and you'd see them in creative and everything. That doesn't happen anymore. What we've done this time is we've actually taken taken the permissions and looked at all the ones we'd what we'd like to give the admins instead of just giving them everything. So they they have uh, they only have certain commands like they can't they can't go in game mode anymore. They can't use world edit to cheat. They can't do all that stuff. So it really kind of on the like on the staff side of it, it, it keeps them from cheating as well. Um, and I I think that's about everything that yeah, we want to at least include because yeah, we there's know more, there's some more of than them. that. That's not everything we've. Added, I mean, yeah, there's we there's plenty more. Some of it um some, some of it's still in test right mode though. A yeah. lot of it's still being tested whether or not it can work. So we don't want to mention anything. Um, I don't know, we're not going to mention much about this, but just uh, a hint that something that might come in the future includes the words Nightmare. We're not going to go into any details about that, but just look out for anything regarding that. And I guess that's it. Do we want to yeah. talk about banks? Or are we not at, um, we, we're still discussing this and we yeah, haven't made anything. Yeah, banks are still, still uh, right, we're, getting, we're working on them, but I think yeah, that's all we, we want to include for, for now. Just, um, Stay on the lookout for a video when we're done. When um, we release it, I'm pretty sure Blink will release a video. Yeah, I'm gonna start releasing more videos of um, the test server and updates that we've done. Um, I mean, we've gotten a crud load done earlier. Right now it's starting to slow down just because we have less stuff to do. And, yeah, we're um, kinda going downhill from the climax now. Yeah. Not downhill as in it's getting bad, just downhill as it's getting more slow paced. It's, yeah, slower paced. But we're taking our time, we're making sure everything's right, we're checking for this and that, and we're discussing whether or not um, better options are better than other options. Yeah. Um, or just balance out everything. So, keep a lookout. Um, websites down for maintenance. Do we want to talk about graveyards, or did we... I think, yeah, we, we explained about? graveyards. Alright. Um, so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. nice, nice talking to you. It was, uh, it was nice. That was a little bit longer than I was expecting, but uh, it's it's all, all right. right. Well, it's good that it's a bit long. At least we want to tell them, let them know that it's worth the wait.
All right, guys. See ya. Right, see ya.